All right, welcome to this video on ordering four-digit numbers. Uh, I'm just going to go through some uh, simple examples of uh, how to compare numbers and uh, what the process is. We're going to sort them into tens and units using our place value chart. And for the first couple of examples, I'm going to um, show you what they what these numbers are broken down into. All right, so let's. Um, get started. We've got 68 here. All right. So 68 is just made up of six tens and eight units. And 73 is made up of seven tens and three units. Okay, if we were going to uh, break that apart into tens and units again, we would write 68 as 60 plus 8. And if we were going to make seven, break 73 apart, we would write it as 70 plus 3. Well, doing it this way, you can clearly see that 60 is larger than 70. Okay, another way of looking at it is, uh, if you remember to always start at the leftmost column, okay, in this case the tens column, uh, and compare those two digits, that should help you get started deciding which numbers are larger. Alright, so you've got a 6 here and a 7 here, so clearly 73 would be larger in this example. Alright, let's go to the next one. Okay, so we've got, uh, in this one, we've got 147 and 338. So clearly 147 is made up of one set of 100, four sets of 10, and seven units. And 338 is made up of three sets of 100, three sets of 10, and eight units. All right? And if we were going to write that in another way, we could write it as 100 plus 40 plus 7. And for 338, we could write 300 plus 30 plus 8. Again, if we start at the leftmost column, which in this case for these two numbers is the hundreds column, we can see that the digit 1 and the digit 3 are in the hundreds columns. And we know that, obviously, 3 is larger than 1, so 338 must be larger than 147. All right, let's go to the next example. In this case, we've got 6,749 and 6,738. So we're going to see what happens when we've got the first two digits being the same. What do we do then? Okay, so 6,749 has six sets of 1,000, seven sets of 100, four sets of ten, and nine units. All right, and 6,738 has six sets of a thousand again, seven sets of a hundred, three sets of ten, and eight units. Okay, well, as I've already pointed out, you start at the leftmost, col leftmost column, which is in, in this case is the thousands. So the problem is we have two digits that are the same. Okay, in both numbers, when we compare the thousands digits, both numbers have the digit 6. So what do we do? Well, the next thing you do is go over to the next column, which in this case is the hundreds column. But we've got a problem again, because both digits are the same. They're both 7. So what do we do? We go to the next column, over to the tens column, and we compare these two digits. All right, well, clearly, 4 sets of 10 is more than 3 sets of 10. So that means that 6,749 is going to be the larger of the two numbers. Okay? Now, we have a number line here, and we have at one end the smallest numbers, and at the other end the largest numbers. I'd like you to have a look at these numbers down here, and I'd like you to decide, first of all, what is the smallest number that we should put here? Then what is the largest number we should put here? And how should the numbers be put in order?
Okay? I'll do, um, uh, I'll fill in these numbers for you, but I want you to pause the video right now. I want you to put in the numbers and in, along the number line in the order you think they should be, and then restart the video, and you can check your work with what I've done. Okay? Good luck. Okay, as you can see, I've placed all the uh, numbers in the correct order. So we've got 1,907, which is what we started with. It's the smallest of the set of numbers. Then we have 3,310, followed by 3,333, all right, 5,277, 6,030, 7,630, 7,679, 8,202, 8,203, and finally 9,012. Okay, if you didn't get any of these in the right place, just go back, remind yourself how to uh, put themselves in order. Remember to uh, check the leftmost column first, and then the next column over, and the next column over, and keep comparing the digits in each column until you find digits that are clearly larger than the others that you're comparing them to. All right. Okay, good luck. I hope this has been helpful.